everybody, it's your girl Cheryl, and welcome to this episode of the Empower Minute. On today's Empower Minute, I want to talk about being lame and still being fruitful. You got it right, being lame and still being fruitful. So what is the Empower Minute? The Empower Minute is a 60 second to three minute spiritual boost to help church girls bolster their faith so they can walk in the power that God has called them to walk in and to fulfill their destiny with power. So how can you still be lame and fruitful? Be lame, um, not have everything that you think you need, not be functioning like normal, like other people and still be fruitful. I know we're walking through a season that many of us have not ever seen before. And in so in some ways, we may feel lame. We may feel like we don't have what we need to be successful. That this that God has placed a pause in our lives. Well, I want you to know that you can be lame and still be fruitful. You don't have to have everything that you think that you need to be successful. All you need is God to be successful. As I was in my um, daily reading, I was reading about the story of David and Mephibosheth. And this is after Saul and Jonathan had died. David was trying to find someone in Saul's household to show comfort to or to show compassion to. The only person that was left was Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth. Excuse me, Mephibosheth. And he was lame in both of his feet. And I know most of us have read that story through and through, but one of the scriptures or one of the verses stood out to me, and it's in 2 Samuel chapter 9, and I'm going to read at, let's see, verse 11 and 12. I'm going to do both of those, and I'm reading in the message, and it says, All that my master the king has ordered his servant, answered Ziba, your servant will surely do. And Mephibosheth ate at David's, t and Mephibosheth ate at David's table, just like one of the royal family. Mephibosheth also had a son named Micah. Mephibosheth is lame in both of his feet, and he has a son. A lot of times we think that our insufficiencies, our faults, and our failures discount us from being fruitful. But Mephibosheth was fruitful. So I want to encourage you Wherever you are, no matter what you think your insufficiencies are, no matter how lame you feel in this season, you can still be fruitful. If a man that is lame in both of his feet can produce even in that time, so can you. Your feet may be lame, but that doesn't discount the rest of your body. He was lame in both of his feet, but that did not discount the reproductive part of his body. So don't ever think that because one part of you may feel lame, one part of you may feel at a disadvantage. When you have God on your side, you can always produce. You can produce in a recession. You can produce in a depression. You can produce no matter what the outside economy looks like. God has called you to produce. So make sure that you produce in this season. God bless you. And if this has been a blessing to you, I want you to share it with somebody that you know needs this word today. Have a great day.